Oh, I'm so excited for this matchup, guys. Wait, wait, wait. wait. From behind, from out of the WWE Universe. Oh, look, look out. out. Never saw him coming blindside attack. Uh, how are we supposed to have a fair match now? That's a cheap and cowardly attack. It's all about getting an advantage, no matter how you do it. So there's the bell, and what started with an attack while making their way to the ring is now an official match. Always unfortunate to see violence before the bell like that. It just puts a big asterisk on this match. Make all the annotations you want in the record books. A W is a W. This is about winning by any means necessary. Oh, wicked kick to the lower back. Station. Big forearm. Into the corner. This can't be good. Kick to the gut. Ooh. Uh oh. Shifts it back onto him. These two trade encounters, an absolute master class. But right hands create. Sami Zayn. Oof, lack of execution proves to be costly there. Short clothesline hits its mark. Insulting. I don't know if there's any ounce of professionalism in an attack like that. Oh, impact to the stomach. And Sami's focus looked like it was shaken after that. Yeah, and after that, McIntyre looked like he's been putting in the extra work. McIntyre gets met with a response. Oh, McIntyre holding him at bay. Oh, look out. Oh, strong impact. Just a ferocious assault from McIntyre. Yeah, a tough night so far for Sammy. Got him set up in the corner of the ring. Boom, what a right. Turning the tables there. Sharp elbow to the gut turns that one around. Representing the blue brand like this, take a look. Watch out! Senton from the apron! Zayn looking helpless to every attack. Scary to think what Drew has in store next. The pure malice inside the ring right now is so potent, you can feel it in the air. No question these superstars have nothing but contempt for one another. The entire WWE Universe has been unable to keep their eyes off this feud. Can you blame them? <laughs> Saving us from having to sit through that. Stops the attack with a hit to the gut. Beautiful athleticism. Oh, costly error there. Wow, belly to belly. Let's get a kiss. The Scottish Warrior delivering that like a bull. attack might have spelled disaster for them, but they managed to overcome it. I bet you this is a win they will soon forget. And why is that? Because they did it against all odds. It's proof that there's no obstacle they can't overcome.
Here come two superstars made of pure athleticism. The Street Profits are more dangerous now than ever before. Yeah, they may still party, but it's all business first. The following contest is a tag team match scheduled for one fall on their way to the ring and a combined weight of 492 pounds. The WWE Tag Team Champions, Montez Ford and Angelo Dawkins. The Street Profits. These two dudes are legit. They're incredibly talented, they're tough, and they know how to have a good time that doesn't involve a bicycle museum. I even feel like dancing. Montez Ford is one of the best dressed guys in all of sports entertainment, and coming from me, that means something. Ford and Dawkins are still great athletes with tons of personality, but now, They've made hurting people their business. And quite frankly, Byron, it's a necessary evolution for Dawkins and Ford. These two are ready to make the jump to the all-time greats of the tag division. A young star with plenty of accolades the youngest United States champion and the youngest Money in the Bank winner in WWE history. And their opponents, first, from Atlanta, Georgia, weighing in at 220 pounds, Austin Theory! This young man is as cocky as the day is long, but he backs it up every night. Oh, oh. It'll be over soon. Don't worry. <laughs> we can see my Theory is due, but he has a habit of letting his ego get in the way of his talent. Well, it's at least a start, Cole. You can't deny his talent and how it's propelled him to the highest heights. But can he stay at those heights? Or will he crash back down to earth? And from Sydney, Australia, weighing in at 206 pounds, Grayson Waller! Well, Grayson Waller never met a superstar or rule that he got along with. Certainly has his own way of doing things, and it's risen his stock very quickly here in WWE. Like him or hate him, Waller can do some amazing things in the ring, and I can't wait to see it. And I hope you guys want the smoke because someone's about to get it from the Street Profits. Montez Ford and Angelo Dawkins, these guys have a resting confidence level on 100, and it's easy to see why. It's been a long time since we've had a team with the pure talent and charisma that these guys do. They say some people were made for this industry, and clearly Ford and Dawkins are in that category. Each team looking to make an impact, looking to shake up the landscape of the tag team division. Well, I'll take it one step further, Saxton. These teams have a goal of dominating the division. Down. Ouch. 
Oh, this is going to hurt. Oh, not to the belly. Not oh, target of the arm. That'll turn your lights out. Oh. And Dawkins got led right into harm's way on that exchange. Yeah, Theory came prepared for this matchup. Getting set up for something in the corner. Oh, and a kick. Right to the midsection. Those two are in such a cohesive rhythm out there. It's like playing jazz, but using your opponent as the drum. Back body draw. You see the height on that? Fires back with a crucial elbow. Dawkins was ready there. Clearly targeting the shoulder. Counter by Grayson. Oh. Counters. Gets him with the counter. Whoa! Drop kick all the way to the outside. Dawkins' attack gets reversed. Whoa! Leaping stop by Waller. Driving down with the axe handle. Vicious right forearm. Big blow could be felt throughout the arena. Quick thinking from Theory. Placed in the corner now. Oh, man. He wasn't tough enough contending with one opponent. Now you got to deal with two. What a counter. Drop kick hits hard. Lands harder. Brain buster across the knee. We're well into the match, and he still seems so fresh. It's almost unbelievable. He manages to escape it. Control on a suplex. This is it. Instantly, he has his shoulders up. It's unthinkable. Someone beating the one count at this point? Really just laying it in. And Theory hits everything. Recover. Two! And he's still in the game. I thought for sure this thing was wrapped up. Well, stay in your seat. Looks like we've got a ways to go yet. And Theory clearly thought he had it there. He might have to consider a new strategy at this point. Oh, what a right hand and then a somersault on Prettier. Punch to the stomach and stopped in their tracks. Uh-oh. About to hit. From way up. Nobody home. Shot after shot. Oof, ruthless striking. Snapmare by Waller. Where the hell is he going? Oh. Here comes Waller. And now they throw Theory to feel cocky about there. Yeah, as the Street Profits particular brand of intensity. And that. Now let's take another look at these guys in action. Here are your winners. The team of Austin Theory and Grayson. Two great superstars that go great together, and that win is proof. Sad loss for the Profits, but I don't think this will keep Dawkins in four down for too long.
Take a look at an athlete who exists on a level unto himself. Seth Rollins is a fighter, a survivor, and he is on a quest for greatness. And the WWE Universe is singing his praises. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Davenport, Iowa. Weighing in at 217 pounds. The World Heavyweight Champion, Seth the Rickin' Rollins. A decade of being WWE's freaking workhorse and the WWE Universe is finally singing his praises. The Viper is ready. And his opponent from St. Louis, Missouri, weighing in at 245 pounds, Randy Orton! A chill is in the air. The cold, calculated nature of Randy Orton is about to be on display. The Viper is a superstar who does not play well with others. Evil intentions in mind tonight, I can guarantee you that. Yeah, Orton always knows when to strike and when to strike first. Every generation, someone comes along who's simply so much better than everyone else. They just make it look easy. Randy Orton is that someone. He was born into greatness. Few superstars love basking in the cheers of the WWE Universe like Seth Rollins. Seth believes he deserves the adoration of the crowd and their chance drive him in the ring. I don't think anyone would be wrong to call Rollins a centric or a little maniac, but even I have to admit, he really is as good as he claims. Rollins has made a career out of proving that he belongs at the top of this industry. With the WWE Universe behind him, I don't see that changing anytime soon. And then we have Randy Orton, a superstar with an inner darkness that is unmatched here in WWE. When Orton taps into that other place, when he unleashes that apex predator, things can get scary. Usually I'd accuse you of being a scaredy cat, Saxton, but it's honestly the truth. When Orton removes all limits and just looks to annihilate his opponent, it can be downright chilling. And they hold the counter. Oh, no. Precision knee drop. Oof, kick finds it. And here we go now, elbow drop. And whatever is Rollins' game plan didn't quite pan out for him there. Yeah, Orton came prepared for this matchup. And an elbow. When you're taking on a mastermind like Seth Rollins, the most important thing to remember is that you have to take away his ability to control the match. Pace is a good place to start. If Rollins wants things fast, slow them down. If he tries to be methodical, start out running him. Yeah, only the tempo here can definitely fluster Rollins. Pulls their opponent in, belly to belly. And into the count, still in it. Oh, maybe time to start burning it down. Rollins is starting to roll. Jonah Kent! 
You hear the talk in the locker room, the anything you can do, I can do better mentality that's been building between these competitors. I've noticed just how much they've been trying to one-up each other as of late, and I'm liking what I'm seeing. Elbow throw, saying not today. And Zagiri finds its mark. Sold by Orton. Netbreaker. Orton setting his sights and lining him up. Oh, man. He's taking this to the floor now. Orton never saw that coming. Thrown out of ringside and back to the mat. Rollins lining up, missed timing with that springboard. Forced the move by throwing an elbow into the midsection. Jeez. And he's able to counter. Boot to the stomach gives them separation. Great job refocusing to reverse that. Left by the turnbuckles. Quick back elbow detours that offense. And that definitely made solid impact. Rollins, kick to the gut, arms hooked, pedigree. Perfectly orchestrated offense. Rollins' mind is certainly in the game now. Seth Rollins, Rollins with the stun. Now Rollins needs to end this. Escaping by the skin of his teeth with that one. He has to think that was too close for comfort. How often do you see Seth Rollins come up that short? That close. He's got to be livid right about now. Bam! Oh, from the top. Step there. That was nasty. How much longer can these superstars continue to fend off defeat? Every obstacle's been met with equal measures of tenacity. It's going to take a lot to close this one out. Superhuman resilience. After seeing that, it's hard to imagine what it's going Taking flight. Oh, what a splash! And Seth is reeling after absorbing that attack. Orton's clearly getting into that gear where he just wants to end things. Reversal. Can they go on the attack? Switching it right into an arm drag. Rolling elbow finds its mark. Ouch. Jumping knee drop. So precise. <laughs> Countered into a jawbreaker. <laughs> Uses an elbow to disrupt that attack. Series of reversals. In the corner he goes, a perfectly placed target. Oh, right to the gut. This is just establishing dominance, followed by a stop. Randy Orton on the apron, has him where he wants him. with that DDT. A lethal blow from the Apex Predator. Morton going to that place could be academic from here. Oh, oh, out of nowhere. Makes Is there any fight left in Rollins? You gotta be kidding me. What just happened? Uh, I don't know, but I think it just blew the roof off this arena. Orton has ended so many matches with that, but it did not do the trick just then. The roar of this crowd has been building, and they are at a fever pitch right now. You can feel the anticipation growing with every second that ticks past in this match. And he throws the opposition back into the ring.
continuing to dissect the leg of his opponent and an elbow. Rollins getting worked on here. And look at how he's controlling the tempo. Not allowing Rollins to set the pace he wants in this match. Oof, and all the impact brought to the knee. Versatility from Rollins. A stalemate of counters. Defenses are sharp in this series of reversals. Answers back on Orton. Just a debilitating neck breaker. And attacking above the shoulders has become the strategy here. Rollins lining up, and the knee finds the mark. Sit right back. Cuts off their offense with a swift elbow to the gut. And Zagiri finds its mark. What are we going to see here? Stop. with great ring awareness. Oh, caught by the back elbow. Does he get him here? Oh, but how, how? Incredible resiliency. Drops the hammer right on the lower back. Oh. Catches the kick. Spectacular counter into a dragon screw. Oh, ouch. Oh, catches a kick to the face. And the steam. Oh, oh. knee right to the face. Oh, man. Taken down by the neck. Super kick finds the mark. Rollins looking to end it. Oh, Seth Rollins with a massive stop. It is all Rollins. Rollins lining it up. Here it comes. Curve stop. So much brutality with that move tonight. So it goes down. That was one of the toughest matches I've ever seen, and he deserves to celebrate this victory. Hang on. Look out behind you. This superstar just realizing who's here, and we've got a, a tense stare down. The following contest is a six-man tag match. And at a combined weight of 493 pounds, Jimmy and Jay, the Usos. You are looking at some highly motivated competitors in this match, looking to steal the show and capture the attention of the entire WWE Universe. And given who he's in the ring with here tonight, does his approach change at all in this one? Well, it's only human nature to want to give a little bit more when in the ring with a known enemy. But you have to be careful not to try to do too much. Staying within yourself is key here.
And their partner from Pensacola, Florida, weighing in at 265 pounds, Roman Reigns! I've been at this table for decades, and I've never seen a competitor this dominant. Month in, month out, Reigns continues to dominate. Yeah, but think about this, Corey. The man who finally puts a loss in Roman's record will become immortal. It's bold of you to think he'll even lose. Well, even with the competition at this level, you might be right. A record-breaking champion, an unbeatable competitor. And Roman looks more determined than ever. That's why every time Roman competes, it is a history-making moment. And a combined weight of 738 pounds, the Bloodline! A group set on dominance here in WWE. Every brand, every division, they planned on standing atop each one.
The teams are in place, and this match can now get underway. That is a lot of bodies. Should be really interesting to see how the action unfolds here. Yeah, I'm curious to see what strategies both of these teams might employ. This could go either way. And Sokoa gets warded off. Sokoa's in a bind. Samoan drop! Popped up! Jimmy Uso with a Samoan drop! Placing them into the corner. Caught them right in the jaw. Ugh, what a shot. Oh, what a counter. Sequence of reversals here. Both superstars clearly studied game tape ahead of time. Oh, attacked in the midsection. Big back body drop. Axe handle finds the mark. Is it? Ooh, stiff punch. Oh, Sokoa holding him at bay. Reciprocating the initial reversal. These superstars face a unique set of challenges in the six-man tag match. Yeah, but we've seen teams of three struggle before. It's hard enough to communicate with one partner, but two, you're in for a lot of work here. Sokoa keeping his opponent at bay. Got him set up in the corner of the ring. What reflexes to stop Sokoa? How's that for a counter? Oh, you can tell he's feeling it now. Sokoa has something in mind. one for Sokoa before. Cover! Still in it with a quick kick out. Are you kidding me? Not even a one come in. Straight impact on the throat. Caught the leg. Clothesline takes him down. Forget about it. Yes, tag! Oof. Textbook jumping clothesline. Oof. And there was some force on that move. He's got the answer for that one. Samoan drop. And the forearm smash. A defensive elbow to the gut ends that. Placed in the corner. Dangerous position with your feet tied up like that. What a reversal by Reigns. to get the advantage here. What a shot. Yikes, that'll either wake you up or knock you out. Kick to the stomach puts an end to that. These two showing how well scouted they each are. Oh. Just from a deadlift position. Sit up, powerball. Fireman's carry. Nice take down again. Driven down with a flapjack. Reigns has his opponent in a fireman's carry and flapjack. He may be in a bad way here. This is what the purpose of a tag team is. Don't be afraid to use the resources and help your partner offers. Am I being diplomatic enough, Cole? Unparalleled intensity from the big dog. Reigns is making an opportunity for himself. And he sends him into the corner. Kick to the stomach. Taking the wind out with a stomp to the solar plexus. So ruthless. He steers clear of contact. Caught with a punch. He turns it around. Super cut. Gosh. Are we going to 
to see here. Makes it incredibly difficult to walk. a good one. Here's another look. Here are your winners. The team of Roman Reigns, Jay Uso, and Jimmy. These three have to be happy with their performance here tonight. After that win, this superstar stock is rising, and they are dancing all the way to the pay window. does not look happy tonight. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Merrillville, Quebec, Canada. Weighing in at 266 pounds, Kevin Owens. As gritty and tough as they come, KO has to be one of the most hardened superstars anyone can face in this business. And that is how he has spent nearly a decade as a top name in WWE. There have been very few folks to main event a single WrestleMania, let alone two. But KO has done just that. Yeah, KO's not the kind of superstar you'd picture as a multi-time WrestleMania main eventer. But he's made an entire career out of defying expectations. The son of a dream, the American nightmare. Michael, a man who redefined himself away from WWE and is now a main event star.
and his opponent from Atlanta, Georgia, weighing in at 220 pounds, the undisputed WWE Universal Champion, the have to be impressed with the form that Cody Rhodes has taken. He's become a leader, a mentor, and a main eventer. Those are all great things to be, Saxton, but we all know what Cody truly wants to be more than anything else is a world champion. Hard times and perseverance, Cody Rhodes embodies them all. All in the name of finishing the story that has eluded his father. Cody seems dead set on reaching the pinnacle in the name of the Rhodes family. Starting off with Cody Rhodes, truly one of the most passionate superstars to ever step foot in the ring. When you look at who his father was, who his brother is, that makes all the sense in the world. Cody was raised in this business, and it's only recently he started to consider his own legacy. He started out to honor Dusty, now he's here to build something of his own. Brick by brick, as the saying goes, and Cody looks to add to those foundations right now. But he's got his work cut out for him tonight. Kevin Owens is seriously one tough customer. A prize fighter always ready for a fight. That's the truth. No matter the time or the place, Kevin Owens is always prepared and maybe even a little excited to climb in the ring and trade blows. Right to the face. My God. Outside the ring now. Hope he's got a plan. Wards off that offense from Cody. Foot to the midsection. Vicious right forearm. Setting up. Suplex. And that tip of cover, cover. Kicks out easily. Too easily. Not yet. Nice clothesline. This. Uh -oh. oh. Cody manages to counter. Able to evade. Uh, off the rope. The American Nightmare with us through the air. The ref not even getting a one. How? How? Owens oh, over the pop up power bomb. We wondered what bad intentions Owen had in store. Uh oh. Stun Owen Stun. Is it enough? The cover. Two. Wow, just barely making it out. Cody Rhodes with a defiant kick out, simply refusing to stay down. And Owens is living right now. He thought for sure that was three. Oh, what a power slam. This could be big. Going up high. From the top rope. Good Lord. Taking flight. What a reckless attack. Off the top rope. Putting it all on the line. Watch out. They're coming towards the announce desk. What the hell are you doing, Byron? And he gets delivered back into the ring. Shot after shot, then slamming their face down. Taking aim. Owens is a sitting duck. And that failed to hit the mark. That is a power-packed punch. Working the midsection there. Great wherewithal on the counter. Going counter for counter. Now can it be capitalized on? Uh oh. Stunner. Serious jeopardy for Rhodes. Uh oh. Stunner. Rhodes hits the stunner. I think that finally. 
Finally closes the book. There's two! He kicked out at two. The resilience on display from Cody Rhodes is a common occurrence that never gets old. And Owens is stunned. Thought he'd done enough to end it, but he was wrong. No love loss between these superstars right now. Really trying to prove it. Look out! Body on body. Wow. That's gotta be it. Two count. Yes, sir. He deserved it. And uh, uh, here comes his manager, obviously, to congratulate. Got himself another great payday. Big win here tonight. These two have. Oh, what the hell is that all about? What a betrayal. Well, why would he do this? I'm sure he's got his reasons. I'd love to hear him. 